All right, everyone, I'm going to show you how to change and modify your gallery uh, that is connected with Jetpack. Uh, it's pretty much the same for any other gallery too, so it's just a different layout. So this particular one is for my client, Chef Alice. When you're logged into your website, you'll notice that when you go to a particular page on the front end, by clicking back and forth from here, um, go to the particular page that has your gallery, click edit page at the top left corner. So there we go, finally loaded. All right, <clears throat> so this particular client is using a theme called Divi. And she's not using the gallery module but she's actually using um, Jetpack's gallery short code. So, oh, I, I totally skipped a step. Um, in Divi, these three little lines mean edit. This second module down here is her actual gallery, whereas this top one, I believe, is um, some word. Yeah. So we're going to click this bottom one. And to make this easier for my client, I'm going to scroll down here and change the admin label to um, Jetpack Gallery, even though it is a text module, um, but we want her to figure out what that is. All right, anyway, click it. So we can see we have our images here. The styling's on the front. There's no styling set here, but if you click back and forth from text and visual, we can see the short code associated with this and the particular images. Um, it's a six column setting, size medium, type rectangular, but we don't want clients to have to think about all that. So we click visual, we click in the middle, when we click in the middle of this little box here we get this edit pencil, we click the edit pencil, and now we have a, a list of all the pictures that are on the front end. And what will happen is they'll shift themselves since uh, the type of gallery here is tiled mosaic. So clients can choose or web designers can choose between a thumbnail grid, square tiles, circles, tiled columns, slideshow. This is all um, this is all totally you just click, set it, check it out, and if you don't like the style, go back and put it to something else. Uh, you can change the size from medium large to full size. Medium seems to be pretty good. You can click and drag any of these images anywhere else you want. You can click the reverse order button, which will do that. You can click the random order if you'd rather just always randomize when someone comes to the page. Um, we're going to leave Chef Alice right at the top there. And I probably shouldn't have messed her photos around. But uh, you can add captions to these images. You can delete an image by clicking the X button here. Um, or you can add to this gallery. So we can go to the Add Gallery section, uh, tab over here to the left. We'll say Add to Gallery look through what she has and we'll just pretend we're gonna add something here How about this it looks good to me we'll click one image or many images you'll notice the little check mark is on here I'm gonna remove these because I want to add them because I don't know what she wants but we're gonna add this little piece of food click the button add to gallery when you're all done choosing your extra images or if you have images on your computer um, you've got tabs up here you can upload files um, and some themes might come with some stock photos too, but obviously you don't want that. So you click upload files, select from your computer, and then upload new pictures that way. But we're just going to add from the media library for now. Add the gallery down here. And now we've added that new picture, which is actually already in here. So let's delete it. All right, so I'm going to say update gallery. We're going to pretend we made all these changes. And then we're going to say save and exit. And then we have to update the entire page too. Which, I don't know why I'm updating, but because I don't make any changes, but uh, except for that, I did change that. All right. So now we go look at the page again after it's all updated. Page updated, view page. I'm going to say leave. And I've updated her page for her. So you'll notice when you shift pictures around, um, this little mosaic here will, will shift around. And when you hover over, you can see uh, the caption associated with that picture. 
So if she didn't put a caption, nothing will pop up. If she did, it'll pop up right there. And that is it.